Well, beautiful spring-like weather yes. as we get ready to close out the work week. It looks like more on the way, but by morning, some of you may see some flaky weather. So, oh. yeah, we get a little bit of weather whiplash this time of the year. Let me explain all that to you. Here is a look outdoors, and right now, temperatures remain very mild. 46 degrees, wind from the north at 22 miles per hour after a high temperature today of a lovely 63 gorgeous degrees. And that's well above our seasonal average, 86, your record high. Here's a look at the day, and late today we had some clouds kind of drifting overhead. And then things cleared out nicely tonight. A lot of gorgeous clear skies over the FM area and a pretty pristine sunset taking place out to the west as well. Here's a look at temperatures elsewhere. A cool slot up there for, along Highway 2 from Devil's Lake to Grand Forks, but temperatures there today quite wonderful as well. Holding under the 40s along Interstate 94 all the way into Lakes Country, where it's 48 in both Fergus Falls and Detroit Lakes. Now look at the radar. Quiet conditions with most of the rain showers really diminishing and dwindling down to almost nothing. But when we take a look at the bigger picture, swirling around the backside and heading back into northeast North Dakota is a batch of light snow in Winnipeg. And that is what I anticipate will bring us a slight chance of some moisture in the overnight hours. But nothing like the severe weather that is plowing its way through the nation's central plain states. Multiple reports of tornadoes once again today. Some large ones in Illinois as well. Severe thunderstorm warnings continue into the late night hour. The good news is the tornado potential seems to be diminishing somewhat late tonight. Here is a look at our forecast. Here's that batch of Winnipeg snowflakes. Now watch where it goes as we set things into motion. Sweeps down through Grand Forks, maybe even Fargo-Moorhead, seeing a drizzle drop or a flurry flake flying through the Friday morning skies. Winds will be pretty brisk again first thing in the morning and temperatures cool and crisp as you head off to work and school. A lot of upper 20s and low to mid 30s across the region. But as we go through the mid morning hours, this moisture is out of here. The northwest winds die down, the skies clear, and we welcome spring with a doormat or maybe roll out the red carpet. 47 for Fargo's midday temperature rising into the mid 50s. So not quite as warm as our day today, but st still quite a wonderful finish with decreasing winds that shift to a southerly direction, that will improve our temperatures for the weekend. So overnight tonight, generally steady in those low 30s by daybreak, then rising all the way into the mid 50s for your afternoon. Wind pretty light tomorrow. Elsewhere, 51 Wapaton at three o'clock on your Friday afternoon, 50 for Fergus Falls, 49 in Roseau. And the planning forecast looks very swell. 70 degrees on Saturday, a nice warm day. Sunday, we'll have a chance of some scattered showers and storms, and it will be, well, a little bit cooler as a result. We're talking about temperatures that will be still in the mid-60s and 70s next week again, but an increased chance of some shower and thunderstorm activity Wednesday and Thursday. So we saw severe weather in the central plains. Yeah. It's actually moving up into the northern plains a little bit with yeah. places like Illinois. We're talking about that chance of storms uh, making its way wow. towards us late next week. We'll keep our eyes on the skies there. Update on that hockey game with just a few seconds to go in the game. Yeah. Boston University, unfortunately, scoring an empty net goal, mm. now leading UND by a score of 5-3. to three. So it doesn't look good for oh. the... Grimey. Tried to rally. Yeah. They can do it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, do you want to stay up to date?